So this is the only time his name's going to be read um, and recognized at a candlelight vigil and at the actual memorial. In May in Washington, D.C., Sergeant Joe Harris will be honored for losing his life in the line of duty. His wife and family will go, but the New Mexico group called COPS, which stands for Concerns of Police Survivors, is upset no one, including Sandoval County Sheriff John Paul Trujillo, has helped raise funds for the trip. The family has not got any funding. There's not been any kind of um, uh, contribution or fundraising done for that family. The group says it's a known standard for police chiefs and sheriffs to help raise money to get families to Washington for the ceremony even though they're not required to. These officers go to work every day and they need to have that confidence that if something happens and they fall in the line of duty that their department is going to honor that and stand behind what they've always told them that they would take care of their families. Tanya Harris, widow of Joe Harris, would not comment tonight about the group's criticism of Sheriff Trujillo. Trujillo tells News 13 off camera that Tanya Harris has never come forward with the request to raise funds and that he won't do anything unless she asks for it out of respect for the family. Deputy Teresa Moriarty was with Joe Harris on the stakeout when he was shot to death by Joseph Burgess, a mountain man who'd been breaking into cabins for years. Deputy Moriarty spoke on camera tonight for the first time since Harris's death. She says the sheriff never even asked her if she wanted to go to her partner's service. I may not have gone, I, um, but I would have like to have been offered the opportunity. She says police chiefs and sheriffs should back up their own. They should be doing all they can to assist everyone involved. Do you think they could be doing more? Well, I, th I think they maybe should have thought about it a little more in advance.